Hi, my name is Melinda and I'm going to show you how to remove color from any photo and place it into your color box using Funtime 2010. Now the first thing you're going to notice is in my color box I've removed all of the colors because basically what I want to do is create a brand new color palette and I want to take all of these colors from this photograph and place them over here. Now this only works if you have a photograph. This will not work with a vector file. So this is a photograph, I just took it off of the internet and if I move it around you can see that there's a gray box. Anytime you get a gray box it's the software's way of letting you know that you are dealing with a photograph. If this was a vector file you would not have that gray portion. Now all you do is you make sure the image is selected with these little black boxes around it and then you go down to the bottom of the screen and you click on this new color scheme button. Once you click on it all of the colors from this photograph are going to be transported for you instantly. Now the old way of doing it we had to use the color uh, eyedropper and we used to have to pick on every single color. Well now we just press one button and all of the colors in whatever photograph you have are going to be in your color box. And as I click on the arrows pointing down you can see that every color from this picture is in here. Now this works really well if you're looking for a color wheel or let's say you're looking for a uh, color matching such as the stamping up or the um, uh, close to my heart. You know you can get all of those colors to color match and easily put them into your color box. Now it's time to save them all you do is you click on the arrow pointing to the right hand side and you click on the save button right over here. Now this will only work if you're using Funtime 2010 on Vista and Windows 7 while you're running in administrator mode. If you're not running in administrator mode you will not be able to save your color palette. So I'm just going to leave the name as custom and I'm going to click on save. And now anytime I want to use that palette again all I need to do is again click on this black button so that this portion is opened up to me and this time instead of clicking on save all I do is I click on the color library and when you do that you can basically go through any of the color library that you want I'm just going to go to custom click on it once to select it and then click on open now over here you're going to notice there are no names so if there is a color you like you basically have to click beside that color and then you click on the arrow pointing to the right hand side to move it over here and then you can keep going down the list of colors until you find another color that you like and then again on the arrow. If you're happy with that you can easily click on replace palette or you can click on OK or if you want you can click on add all so all the colors are there. Click on replace palette once and click on OK. Now all your colors are in this color box. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.